Hey, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com and today we're in a little different setting because it's this is going to be a very different type of joyful journey. In fact, it's going to be like one of our first, if not the first, unboxing experience that we're going to have together. Uh, that This began just uh, about a week or so ago. I, I get an email from Casio with the FedEx tracking number and next thing you know, FedEx pulls up and brings uh, an 85 pound bundle of joy and, and drops it on the porch. And uh, so uh, I just couldn't wait to uh, get into it with you and uh, explore it. This is the latest digital piano from Casio. There's been a lot of buzz about it. And I thought what a wonderful time and an opportunity to just unbox it and share the experience with you. And um, so, you know what, let's get right to it. And we're gonna just, uh, yeah, we're just gonna dive right into this. <laughs> so I've not, I've not unboxed it or anything. So I've got my scissors and my box cutter. And so let's just go for it. And thanks to my beautiful camera person, Deborah. Uh, she's behind the camera helping today and uh, just appreciate her. So here we go. And we're, we're gonna be on the floor for a little while. <laughs> and this is the TXS 7000. And it is just one of their uh, brand new, <laughs> yeah, you get, getting down. Uh, so let's see, we're going to just, uh, just pop these straps here. Yeah, that's a, uh, so come along with me on a joyful journey. And we're gonna just get this out of the box <laughs> and and have some have some fun doing this together. And I want to thank Casio for just sending this to me, uh, just so we can try this together because uh, this is just such a beautiful instrument. And I can't wait. Oh my goodness. Okay, so here we go. this aside here okay oh well okay so now we've got the we've got the cover doing what it does best is covering the, the top I'm just going to kind of lay these things over to the side and we can just kind of get an idea of where everything goes well okay so this is this is it this is the this is the piano right here so I'm going to uh, lift this out. This whole this whole box weighs like 85 pounds, and it was just like just trying to get a hold of that. So, okay. So this is pretty wild. So, little three D. <laughs> so we've got some accessories, and um, let me put the end caps over here. What we'll do, we'll just kind of get things out. <laughs> <laughs> this is just like Christmas in, in uh, Christmas in the beginning of summertime. Okay, so we got all of this, and this is the pedal assembly. And I never know what I'm going to get into. Uh, you know, you never know what you're going to get into. That's the music rack. I bet you that's the music rack. And looking, looking at the icons here, this is the power cord. So we've got a nice, yeah, we've got a nice big space for the power cord. <laughs> so, so I'm going to put some of this over here, and this is the uh, the power adapter. So it does use kind of like an inline power brick uh, for that, and that just connects to the back of the keyboard. So we're gonna take a look at that. Now, this is where I think the, the real magic is. This is the stand assembly here, and uh, Debbie, just take a good look in there. And one reason is, if, if I had to put this back in the box, <laughs> I'll know where everything's supposed to go. So, one of the things about this piano is the, the design of the legs and the hardware and the stand. It just is uh, almost like a very beautiful 
high quality piece of furniture, not just like a digital keyboard, but more like something that you just have um, just in your home, just, just like a beautiful uh, piece of a design and that will just fit in. So I'm, I can't wait to get, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, here are here are parts of the hardware for the stand, and I'm just going to place these in a, where I know where where we're going to assemble all of this stuff. Okay. Now this is the actual metal part of the stand that the keyboard mounts on. I'll pull my blade in just for a second. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a nice. Uh, that's a nice. <laughs> Everything that I'm um, getting out of the boxes and things, it does have just a very, um, I guess what you would, might call a premium feel to it. That, uh, yeah, this is, this is very solid. So this is the uh, actual top of the keyboard stand base. The keyboard's gonna mount on top of that. And this is very solid. Um, and I think that's another, uh, another thing about the, this particular keyboard is that everything is just built with such high quality because uh, this is a, uh, retails for like $24.99 for the white and black and then $26. Uh, around 2600 for the uh, Harmonious Mustard. I've got the uh, white version uh, they sent me. Okay. Now these are the, the legs. Very, very nice. And these these adjust, uh, the stand adjusts. Everything just feels premium to me and uh, and heavy. Solid, everything feels very solid. This is it, this is what, this is what you have to do. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so I bet you we've got the the right the right hand set of legs and the left hand set of legs. So we'll just lay these over here and make sure we have everything. Oh my goodness! Wow, this is the pedal mount, and this this is heavy. Um, this weighs quite a bit. And this is also part of the uh, the bracing mechanism for this for the keyboard stand too, just to add, give it some added stability. But this this is that's a solid piece of metal right there, very very strong. We've got two pieces. We've got one on the left, and one on the right. Okay. Yeah. The, there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put some of the hacking materials back in. It's like you unbox something and you never can get things back in the way that, that they came out. thank Casio for allowing me to have this experience and to share it with you. This is what it's all about for me is just the journey and taking you along with me. Okay, yeah, so 
So here are the uh, assembly instructions. Yeah, and I actually looked up, uh, looked these manuals and stuff up online and just took a glance at them on the iPad. But uh, we're gonna be looking at these <laughs> to put this together. So I'm gonna just, uh, just put some of these manuals over here. Got the uh, warranty, and it's got a three-year warranty on, on the keyboard, and that's quite a bit. Uh, that's that's uh, a lot longer than uh, a lot of warranties from some keyboards that I know. So we want this here. We want to have the assembly guide. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> hey, Deb! Are you having fun yet? Yes. <laughs> So I'm gonna just move this. You hear how heavy that is. Now this is something that I thought was very fascinating. This is a um, wireless Bluetooth interface that connects to the iPad or uh, your computer for, uh, you know, to connect with the apps and, and it says something about audio. Yeah, it's a wireless MIDI and audio adapter. And so we're gonna take, um, a look at that. We might not get to test that on this initial unboxing, but uh, you can be sure we're gonna take a look at that soon. Yeah, this is the, this is the three pedal assembly. And it's really, really cool that they gave us three pedals because that way we can have the soft pedal, the soft stenudo, and the damper. Yeah. And again, these are, yeah, these are very, very premium. So I'm gonna set that over here. And I'm, I'm usually not one to read manuals normally, but sometimes you just have to, you have to do it uh, to make sure you got everything going. I do as much as I can, and then uh, there's a time that you have to uh, just get the manual out and read it. And so we've got this upside down, and let's see what, how they've got this oriented, okay? That's, that looks good. Is another bracket for the uh, this is a bracket for the uh, sustain the, the pedal assembly and the legs are numbered so this is two yeah so this is two and these are three okay yeah both of these are three and so on the manual, okay, so they've got corresponding numbers here. So let's see if I can find the corresponding number. Yes, so we can see it's just kind of printed in there just so you, we can know what we're doing here. So two, so two, Two goes on this side. Two goes on this side and three goes on the other side. Okay, and it even has, it even has like a little safety, safety pin. So you make sure that they're, that you're putting them in right. So you've got a little safety pin that matches up with the, uh, with the mounting holes here. Now we're gonna get into our bag of hardware. And I thought this was interesting. They give you a, they give you a little wrench. They give you a little wrench and we're gonna use that to help put this together. And got an Allen wrench as well to uh, help us. So I'm gonna dump, <laughs> dump the screws out here. Yeah, and, and so, 
They are they are hex screws, so we can use the uh, the Allen wrench to help us to uh, put these in. So here we go. One thing that I learned, or I saw somebody do with like, especially with machine type screws, if you put the screw in and reverse it just a little bit, it'll, the, it'll fall into the threads. So that way you're not going to cross thread, you're not gonna cross thread your screw. So I'm gonna just kind of put it in, I'm gonna go backwards with it and it'll set in there and then we can just put it the rest of the way in. Yeah, this, this thing is solid. Just solid. So now I've got it in this way, I'm gonna go ahead and take the other end so I can put a little bit more oomph on it and just tighten them in, tighten them down really good. Wow. This is work, guys. <laughs> but it's the, uh, it's the type of thing that I love doing. Uh, I love putting things together. Yeah, I used to growing up, uh, they would keep electronics and things away from me because I would, um, I would take them apart. Okay, let's see. Let me see what I'm doing here. Okay, that's three. Okay, yeah, see, that's why it wasn't working. So I was trying to put three in a two slot. So let's put the two in the two slot. See, that's great. So it, it uh, kind of makes it so you can't, you can't mess this up. Listen, if I could do it, you all, you, anybody could do it. Okay, and then got one more leg. So you can really see how well engineered this is and uh, the design and everything is just very sleek, very sleek. You know, it is kind of a minimal design, but it's got some style to it that, uh, like the grain, like you just see the, the texture and grain in the, the, the legs. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's see what the next, let's, let's see what the next step is here. Okay. Place the stand upwards. So let's let's place the stand upwards. Wow. Uh, there we go. Wow. <clears throat> so it almost looks like a piece of gym equipment right here. <laughs> but uh, okay, so let's we're gonna place the uh, get the brackets on there. They got everything kind of nice and wrapped up so it protects it from getting dinged and all of that. So where did these go? And look at that. Look at that. So they're offset inside of the... Uh... So this thing is not gonna come apart. It's not gonna fall over during a performance or So I'm just gonna loosely put these in. Well, you put the screw in here, goes round and round. Whoa, whoa, I, it, it should. Yeah, there, there it is. Okay, there it is. Two plus two is always gonna be four, and the bracket's always gonna fit only one way.
okay, so you, you see that we went to a time lapse because it was like getting into the little nitty gritty of the nuts and bolts and making sure they were going where they were needed to go. You know, I, I just thought it would be better just go ahead and fast forward through all of that stuff. But the, the entire time that I was putting the rest of this together, uh, continue to just reinforce the the fact that this this is just a very high quality product. I mean, everything uh, is solid, bolting together, and and now you can just see that, that we've just got the finished thing, uh, the the Trivia PX S7000, all ready to go. And uh, so we're gonna we're gonna plug this in because you're gonna get the very first experience along with me. I, I just wanted to make sure that was gonna be part of this adventure, this journey together. Uh, so uh, I've got the power supply connected and I don't even have the plastic off of it yet. So we're going, we're just, we're just gonna, we're doing this. So uh, I'm gonna plug it in and let's, uh, let's just peel off some of this. Don't you like that? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yes, here we go. There is nothing like a good peel from a beautiful instrument. Now I'm gonna step aside and put this away. Put this over here. And now let's uh, let's finish this up here. Okay, we got some, we got some uh, some more. And then we've got we've got the final piece of the puzzle because right now everything is uh, all the keys are kind of taped together. It, it'd be something like Matthias Pons would do. He, he would just type, uh, you know, like what he did with the e-piano. So now we're gonna just take this, uh, that just is so satisfying to take that off there. Wow. And then, there, just like magic, it's gone, Eric. <laughs> okay, so are we ready for this? So here's the power button. And let's uh, let's do this. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Wow. Welcome. Wow. Now there there we are. And the, one of the cool things is this. It's almost like uh, it's almost just like a, a futuristic car or something like that. Just because it's all uh, all the all the display is recessed underneath the. the Panel. So it's just one of the most beautiful uh, designs I think I've seen in a long time. And then you know, just filling the panel. And then this is this is the, the main attraction for me is this keyboard action. Now now you're going to experience you're going to experience it with me somewhat. But I've not uh, I've not played this. Uh, and I'm going to just uh, see what happens. And the pedals the pedals feel just so solid. It just it literally. It literally feels like something like a you know a concert grand or something would would do. So okay, so that's and then it's uh, it comes up on the uh, Hamburg grand. You get the volume there. This was one of the things that I was uh, concerned about in a way, is uh, because the, the size of this piano, uh, this digital piano is just so, it's narrow. It's just like, it's not very deep. It's not that thick, but, but what, uh, just what I'm feeling in, with the action is just, it's just really, it's, it's really spectacular for me. Uh,
feels very light but heavy at the same time. And um, it's and they've got the spruce, uh, the spruce edges or you know on the key tops are really nice but then you see that spruce that wood inside of the key bed and you know me i like a keyboard that's real responsive that's that can get into those very soft places but then have the the oomph the, or the chutzpah to get really heavy and and powerful and that's So we can scroll using this uh, using the touch wheel, and I think that is really cool. It's like a it's like, and you can actually hear it clicking as you go as you go through the different presets. So that was the Homburg Grand, and we can add, and we can tap we can add, tap the sides of this as well to um, get to the different ones. We can scroll it or we can tap it. Yeah. This is the thousand. So we've got, I'm just learning how, I'm just learning all of these things. So, um, okay, so when we, when we tap up and down, it just puts the, uh, the wheel into the different areas of the UI. So, so that helps us to be able to go through the presets. And we're gonna get a little bit deeper into this uh, later on. Um, now this is Rhapsodic Piano. go to another um, and we're just picking this up with the microphones I actually have my zoom h2 out there uh, hopefully recording some um, good audio just to kind of capture the room and I'm just listening to the response and the feel
There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness. experience, what a ride that we've been able to take together, and we're going to do a little bit more diving into this, uh, the PXS 7000, what a beautiful instrument, and like I said, it reminds me of the piano that uh, that you would have that I grew up with, I, I tell you, if I was um, <laughs> if I was eight or nine years old growing up and this was the piano that I got to play, um, I would just feel very fortunate and blessed, and I was real fortunate and blessed to have that Kurtzman upright uh, that the Lord has just blessed me with to learn to play and growing up and all of, all of those memories. And you know, in a way, this takes me back to that uh, that time where you have a beautiful instrument, you're able to just sit down and just play and enjoy, just taking beautiful musical, joyful journeys together. And again, I, I want to just really thank Casio for um, just sending this out to me to experience. And I hope uh, you enjoyed this uh, this trip. And you know what? We're not finished. And I can't wait to show you more of this beautiful instrument. So remember to stay tuned and always to stay joyful.